whole life and then the wife died and then he was estranged from his daughter. It was just too much for my close song. Let's but pause here because let me tell you the films that Dolores likes, okay? What's up, Flourishing fam? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Flourish with Dolores, where flourishing is about progress and not perfection, honey. This is my husband, Charles, and I'm Dolores. And in today's video, we are talking 10 of the top classic Christmas movies. Really, Charles is talking because eh, I just like whatever sappy on Lifetime or Hallmark. <laughs> Comment below if you agree. So I'm not super picky, but we did want to have this talk. And I hope, we're, since we're near the end of Vlogmas, I hope you've been enjoying my videos. Today I was thinking about it. I was like, I feel like my Vlogmas videos is like an advent calendar. Like, you just don't know what you're going to get every day. I, you know what I mean? Like, I feel uh, like I switched it up so much. So. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna toot my own horn. I'm proud of myself. And um, thank you, baby, for being in these videos. Um, you've added so much to them. So let's get right into the talk. So should we go from 10 and then continue? Uh, I've been thinking about this like all week. It's so hard. Like I know what's like my top favorite, like I have to watch. But like the other ones, I don't know if I can really assign an order. Because uh, I was trying to think like, do I want to do like top 10 like black movies? Because I think there are a lot of good ones or I want to just do my overall. So I, I guess I'm just going to just do my overall like movies that like I have to have to watch like every holiday season. I'm going to give a, um, can I give an honorable mention? Can I give an honorable mention? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, our show. Yeah, I'm going to give an honorable mention to like a couple that I've like seen clips of. So I haven't really had the chance to like really watch it. So the classic A Christmas Story, mm. I know with like Ralphie and the BB gun, I like start, I have not watched it. I, I know I'm bad, I have not watched it. Um, I've heard it's really good. We started we to, started we hit it. play, but then we were so sleepy that Yeah, day. yeah, <laughs> and I was like, wow, this one was really old. But uh, <laughs> but I was like, I'm gonna commit, cause it's funny, cause they always run like a, um, a marathon of it on Christmas. Uh -huh. And like, I always oh see goodness. it on, but I like never like sit down and watch it. So I, I told myself this Christmas, I have to have to finish it. So I definitely will. What about, yeah. I don't I don't think this is gonna make your list. Is Elf gonna make your list? Because this was the first time you watched it this year. I so I do wanna know yeah. what you thought. Of I Elf. thought it was good. I probably, let me see if I, let me see about the ones that like, I know for sure have to make the list. And if there's anything left, I, I probably would throw Elf on there. Cause I thought, it, I thought it was pretty funny too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I might throw Elf on there. All right, let's get started. So top 10 and like, as we get to like the top three or so, there's like top, there's like three I like have to watch, but like 10, I would say best man holiday. Uh, I thought that was really good. I was a big fan of the Best Man movie. Um, I just yeah. don't like how they made it sad. Like, what if she had to die from cancer? <laughs> I know. Like, but, I, we were so excited because I think it was 10 years since the last been a while. one. Yeah, long. So yeah. we were so excited to see them reunited. And why y'all yeah. had to make us sad, especially for a holiday movie and for a lot of people that does become their reality. Right. Dang. I know, but it like didn't need that. But it threw like a loop in it because you didn't. You, you thought oh, it was gonna be a happy ending. A lot. Which I mean, eventually it was. But where? <laughs> it was, it was. They, they finally like, you know, squashed their beef and stuff. You know, Tay Diggs and um, Morris Chestnut. I would have rather them not be friends forever for wow. her to be alive. <laughs> I would rather her be alive and see their family flourish, see him flourish, even if it's flourishing separately. Yeah. Dang. But I like that movie because it really was like, I mean, not that it was like the kickstart, but it was like so many like well-known black actors at the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like they were just kind of coming into their own. And then to like now see them like several years later that a lot of them were like really established for them to come back together. Like yeah. I thought that was really good. Um, but uh, yeah, that was a good film. Um, so number nine mm -hmm. would say um, Jingle Jangle. Mm. So that came out was it came out last year I guess with, yes. um, with Forrest Whitaker Felicia Rashad was in it it was just like it was a very creative like film mm -hmm. which I loved about it and I loved the music uh, ensemble about it. it had some like African beats in there which was like really mm -hmm. cool like it was like we didn't expect like I was like oh this is a nice little cute little film but I was like oh this is really good it had a lot of flavor yeah it did, it did. only thing I didn't like is it's sad. No. Clearly, I just don't like movies where, cause like, why? <laughs> he, happy why ending. the guy had to steal from him, and then it just ruined his whole life, and then the wife died, and then he was estranged from his daughter. It was just too much for my close home. 
Let's but, pause here because let me tell you the films that Dolores likes, okay? She it's never sadness. Yeah, she <laughs> likes the lifetime hallmark. And look and look, I hate to spoil it for everybody, but let me tell you, they no, literally you use spoiled it the for me same when you said that. script every year. It's always woman that works in stressful job decides to go back home to her small little town, Either. meets the guy that she should have been with years ago in her Either. childhood, and they come together to handle some type of conflict, either to save the town or whatever have you, and they end up like becoming a couple together on Christmas. Now they, over the years, they put the little spin on it, but it's pretty much but the same script. at least you script. know what to expect. <laughs> at least you know nobody's really gonna be hurt or harmed. Like, it's just happiness. Like, I wanna feel joy. I wanna feel joy. So Jingle Jangle, yes, like if I was making a list, that yeah. would definitely be like mm -hmm. top five. Yeah. But you know, the beginning just hurts my heart. Oh goodness. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see, what's another one I watched? This one's a funny one. Uh, I liked it a lot. Um, I'll be home for Christmas uh, mm. with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I don't know if I saw and that. It, it's a Disney movie, um, mm. and Jessica Biel, mm. way before she got like married to, to JT. But uh, but I like so basically the. I'm writing these down. So the premise of it is basically like this young guy. He um, he's in college and he hasn't been home for Christmas since his like mom died and his like dad remarried. So he doesn't really like know his like stepmother that well so that's why he never so so that's why he never like goes home but his dad's like you know what i want to run for christmas he's like if you come home they've been like rebuilding a porsche yeah so, yeah so he said if you come home i will give you the porsche i feel yeah. like i've seen this i feel like i've seen it, it sounds so, familiar so it's basically, he had like a lot of like issues getting home right right so he ran into a lot of issues actually trying to like get home so he could like get the porsche mm -hmm. um so i i thought that was pretty good that was like that that was like height like um john and taylor thomas like when he was making a lot of money yeah um but i always thought that much i always thought that film was pretty cool uh let's see um i'm trying to do the top one just yet uh almost christmas that was, oh that was, yeah, that was good too. I'm it, here it, for the black family movie. Yeah. And I always, I'm always kind of a little Writing cautious when like they put like a ton of like really well known like celebrity because they had a ton of stars. Um, yeah, Gabrielle Monique. Union, yeah, Chris Monique. Brown was in that. No, or no, no, this is no, this Christmas. No, Donald, uh, not Donald Glover, uh, Danny Glover mm -hmm. uh, was in it. I was like, oh my god, so many stars. And you always kind of wonder, okay, they just like padded full of stars, but no, it was like a very well written script, and uh, I like the messages in it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that was another good film as well. I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna go with The Polar Express. Mm. I like that one um, I like because I was always so intrigued by the fact that like Tom Hanks plays like so many different characters, um, which was cool, and the music. The music was good. I, I especially like the song Hot Chocolate uh, mm -hmm. because we played it in, um, in jazz band in I high school. Some hot chocolate right yes, now. yes. <laughs> and I, I, I always loved that song, so I do like the Polar Express. Five, I would throw, I would say This Christmas. This Christmas was yeah. good. That and that had some conflict, but it was yeah. all good. Yeah, that movie, you know, that's one of the few movies because like, I feel like ABC Family will throw it Byron. on. Byron! That's yeah. one where she's like, Byron! No, 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 that is Medea. No. That's my dear. We have to watch this Christmas again. This girl's in it. What's her name? Um, the one that's dating that basketball player and they have that cute little daughter. And he was in Dancing with the Stars. That's Medea, baby. Medea, um. Oh. And it's not even a Christmas movie. That was Medea's happy, um, Medea's happy family. No, Bow, but wasn't she Bow dating wow. Chris Brown and then she was like, Byron? That was Bow Wow, baby. Oh, oops. All right, we gotta watch this Christmas over. It's here. okay. It's okay. <laughs> So yeah, I, I really like this. This that's one of the few Christmas films because they put it on like I feel like all year round. That's one of the few I can literally just sit and watch like on a random way afternoon, even if it's like outside of Christmas, just because I like I don't know, I just like the story. Uh, and I, I always think it's cool when they can bring family members from like all different walks of life. They all have some type of conflict and stuff, and um, see how it resolves. So yeah. yeah, I like that one. Uh, so now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. This is tough. This is really really tough. Um. Of the classics, of the classics. Let's see, let me see anyone. Oh, how could I forget? Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. Jingle I don't know all, if I know that movie. Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger when he had to find this toy Turbo Man for his son. It was him and Sinbad in it, and like they they actually meshed together very well. Um, but yeah, their their comedic timing was like really good. But I, I can always watch that film too. This is what we're gonna do all Christmas. Just cuddle and watch all these movies, yeah. this whole list. I don't That'll know, be fun. Cool. I don't know, we watch them. <laughs> That's, we all That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, so jingle all the way. I guess I should. I got three left, right? Mm-hmm. 
I guess I'm going to say for the three, I'm going to say the all the Home Alone series. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think they take three, two, and one. And What's I, your order? Home Alone three. Is three? Yeah, it's three. Okay. Home Alone one, I'm going to say is two. Mm. And Home Alone two, I'm going to say is number one. And I'll explain why. Home Alone 3, I feel like that is a very underrated film. I know people were upset because it doesn't follow like Kevin or anything. Like it's a totally new cast. But I thought it was actually like pretty funny. Uh, like I could just literally sit and watch it's it. It's a classic though. I, I would say it's a classic. I would, I would. Yeah, it came out with 97. Like, yeah, I, I like it. It, it, was, it was a different spin on the story, but I thought it worked well. Um, I'm gonna say Home Alone 1. Mm was a second. Maybe I'm a little biased because I saw Home Alone 2 before I saw Home Alone 1. So I didn't even know this, this, the, the whole background of the original story when I was young. Because Home Alone 1 came out in 1990. I was just born. Mm -hmm. But Home Alone 2 came out I think in 92. So I probably saw it when I was like 3. Um, yeah, but he, okay. yeah, I know. I, well, that was what was, was on. <laughs> but, but Home Alone 1, I mean, it was good. I, I liked Home Alone 1. Obviously, it's a classic. Um, you know, the uh, the burglary scenes are like uh, hilarious. It's just and, too much violence. I know, I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it. And then just watching, you know. Just... And how many times are you gonna forget your son? Okay, yeah. This, but you know what's nobody so, called the cops. It's always so funny that people go back and watch it now and they're like, this would never happen in like right. 2021. Right. <laughs> like, right. first of all, the first time, okay, first time was bad. The second time, like, these parents should be in jail because mm -hmm. how you leave your son twice. Uh, but yeah, the first one was good. The second one I thought was ridiculous because I like because they got to showcase New York City. Maybe just for me being from Jersey, mm -hmm. it was nice to see like the different sites and stuff of like New York City and how they incorporated it mm -hmm. into the film because like you got to see like the um the plaza hotel mm -hmm. got to see like the um i think it was the i don't know if it was the philharmonic or what but, like the big like new york orchestra mm -hmm. the central park like all these like different like landmarks and stuff in like new york city but uh but yeah i i, I think home alone too is the best one out of all of the whole series and i could watch that like over and over again mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Oh, what were we talking about the other day? Black Nativity. We tried to give that a shot. It was I weird. Tried. I tried. And I was so sad because you know I'm all for the black people. I know. <laughs> it, the thing about it, disappointing me, it had so many good actors in yeah, it. Angela it was Bassett just was weird. in there, and like Angela Bassett, she always delivers. And then Mary delivers. Blige, like I just didn't really. I right. understand she was an angel, but I feel like if they were gonna have her, they should have made her more of like a guiding person. But she was just there. Like right. it was just like they just wanted to say these people were in it. Like right. Nas, like. Okay, you're on the yeah, bus, but then just, you just appear and you start rapping. Like, yeah, it was just weird. What was the other one we um gave a shot? No, um, the one with uh, Morris Chestnut, remember? And he was like pretending to be Santa. Oh, that was good. Oh, that one. That one, that one, no, that wasn't last holiday, was it? Let me see. No, last holiday is when she gets sick. I, I have to see that one. Last Holiday was the one I have not seen. Perfect Holiday. Perfect Holiday. That, that was good. That was a nice, that was that was a nice, nice film movie. too. I couldn't put it on it. my top 10 because yeah. it wasn't like, I wouldn't call it a classic. But if you're like looking for something to do and you're like, oh, I haven't seen one of these before. Like yeah. that I think was a good one as well. Um, yeah, Last Holiday I still have not seen. So we gotta watch I'm that. gonna try to give it a I don't know shot. if it'd be like classic, but. No, I, I would put that as like an honorable mention um, as well. I'm always, a, it's not movies, but I'm always a big sucker for the, um, the cartoon specials. Oh and the yeah, stop you motion. love those. I Rudolph, love it. I can watch Rudolph, Frosty, Santa Claus yeah. is coming to town. Like they're not considered like movies, so to speak, but I would watch those. Classic things you should watch. For me, I just don't get into it. I'm back to like, you know, my Hallmark happiness. Yeah. But I could see why, like, especially when we have children, I would want to cuddle right. with them and, you know, watch those. Oh, I forgot. Oh, the pe peanuts. Oh yeah, Charlie Brown, oh, come on. I gotta watch Charlie Brown Christmas. I, don't, I only got a couple more days left. I don't know how to squeeze all this in, but I'm gonna make it work. Tomorrow, Thursday, you off? Yeah, I'm off. I am off. So, so I, I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing all day. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch a Christmas special. Yeah. Oh, how do we forget? Let me look at my list again. I'm trying to see if I can bump one. Oh, the Grinch. Yes, that I. So I've actually never seen that, but we started watching it the other day, and I was really enjoying it. But then I started yeah. falling asleep, so we need to finish yeah. that with the Grinch. If I had to push one, I guess I could push Home Alone three. If I had to, and people are gonna get me on the controversy with that, but like, yeah, I think the Grinch. Uh, Jim Carrey is a genius, and I feel like I feel like Jim Carrey. He, um, I don't want to say he's underrated. But I think people don't. No, I think people put respect on his I name. I think people put respect, but because people, people may not remember that he was on In Living Color. 
Like, yeah, if you, people put yeah, respect on his Yeah, name. I'm like, if you're gonna get the respect enough for the Wayans brothers to like put put you mm. on that show, and that's really like where he learned and like honed his craft. Like, and there was a the time he was good. in everything. He was like, he, in the '90s, you could not touch Jim Carrey. Yeah, and I think I think he took kind of. There a was break. another movie yeah. that scared me that made me not like him as the mask. Much. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you know I don't like scary yeah. stuff. But yeah, he was he was in everything, and that movie yeah. was so popular too. Yes, yeah. Um, any other holiday ones? I think. Oh, that see this top ten list is so hard because I'll tell you another one that I kind of wish I put on there: the Santa Claus. Oh, the Santa that Claus. is a classic. Yeah, that is good. Now, that is a see. classic. And see. even I, I, I would put bump, it's would one and two. I would bump if I did Home if I got rid of Home Alone three. I put the Grinch on there, and I probably would bump. I probably would even bump. I'll be home for Christmas for. Um, so that for would the be your for the, yeah for Santa Claus because. Yeah, that that was just ridiculous. Uh, Tim Allen, that was another that was another actor, Tim Allen, who you couldn't touch in the '90s either. Yeah, um, like he was, yeah, he was just the really Santa good. Claus. And there was more than one, right? There was they, two, they made three. three. And I will say, if you oh, haven't, we gotta watch that. If you haven't seen um, the second one, I thought was really good. I was really excited when it came out, and I was like, I was very happy, especially because they got all the original cast. Mm. Even like Charlie, they got the older, they 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 got him to be in the movie. Which I, I was like, there's no way they're gonna be able to get the original, but no, he actually. Oh, up. we gotta watch that. Yeah. Dang, we got a lot to yeah. watch, baby. But yeah, the Santa Claus two. I didn't like the Santa Claus three. I thought they did too much. I, I think they could have really. I don't left remember it. that one. I think by then I probably eased yeah. out went to my homework. <laughs> yeah, I think they could have totally left it at the Santa Claus two. Um, it was good. The Santa Claus two is actually um, where he has to find a Mrs. Claus. Oh yeah, I remember that. Right. Yeah. Right. And she was great. Yeah. And she went up there with him. Yeah, it was good. It kind of reminds me of Elf how Elf found his and then they brought he brought her to his no. up there. Yeah. 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 Any other classes you could think? I feel like there's just so many. There's just so many. Well comment below. Let us know what we missed. Let us yeah. know if our list is off. I'm gonna put all of Charles' list here yeah. now that he's bump stuff out, put right. stuff in. Yeah. Um, but you know, argue with us. Let us know yeah. if we're off. Let us know if there's something we forgot. Let us no, if we have something that's on there that's ridiculous, we yeah. want to talk to y'all and yeah. appreciate the comments and conversation. Yeah, one thing I um, we didn't put on, but it's hard because there's so many different versions, is A Christmas Carol. And I find that difficult because there's like a thousand different versions of it. Mm -hmm. some, are, some are really good, some I'm like, eh, yeah. I, like a, I do like a Muppet Christmas Carol. I just thought it was hilarious. And Can't go wrong with the Muppets. Muppets Christmas Carol, I believe that's, I think it's a Divas Christmas Carol. Yeah, there's there's a ton of different versions of a Christmas Carol, which is always a classic story, but I, I couldn't really nail down one that I like really, really enjoyed. But mm. but as you can see, a lot of different options. So I'm curious what everyone else's top 10 is. Yeah, well let us know in the comments below what your top 10 is or what your top favorites are and we will respond and have this conversation with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget about our Vlogmas giveaway. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Share with a friend, you know? Um, if you haven't shared my channel with a friend or people in your community, if you've been loving it, definitely share it with someone. Ask them to subscribe and check out my channel. I'd so, so appreciate that and we will see you in the next video. Peace. In today's video, we are doing another shop with me, except this time we are shopping for some couple of last minute gifts that we still need to grab, but mostly to get a couple things for our big trip coming up.